Cloud Max 2 by Karangi Sounds. Let's dive in. I got a serum preset raw form. I got a beat going on with it just to help context purpose. All right. So let's play with the preset. I think we're done with this review. If you don't hear the significant difference in like the presets, it's like it's doing a lot. This is not your normal reverb delay. It's like reverb delay together but on steroids. Like <laughs> I really don't know what else to tell y'all. But because I'm doing a review. I gotta show you guys what's happening right here. So there are other things happening with this plugin. So we could change the skin. I like this color. This is dope. This one is also dope. This one is also dope. Gosh, it's really nice. So yeah, let's just keep it right there for the sake of the video. All right, scale it up and down. Boom, boom. For those different resolution screens. We can change this to advanced view. You could dial in a little bit deeper, you know, say you got significant numbers you want to dial in. You can do that from here. But, uh, this is your randomizer reverb, and then this is your random texture. Really cool. So if we click here, we can see the presets. We have two different banks or two different collections, and we can see that uh, Climax One Legacy presets has your acoustic spaces, drums, guitar, keys, leads, sound design, soundscape, vocal. Now, of course, you guys know that any of these presets will work with anything. It doesn't matter. It's just they have to put it in a category to make some sense out of it. So if you don't see, it's like, for instance, if we don't see bass in here, it doesn't mean you can't use it for bass. I, it just depends on what you're doing. I probably wouldn't use this plugin on a bass, but you might have one of those projects where you need the bass to come through something like this and be creative. You can totally do that, right? I'm I'm not judging, but uh, the second Climax Factory presets these are seems like there's not that many here, which is totally fine because when you click in here, you have a substantial amount of presets inside of the style. That you can go for all right so that's what that is why not let's just go for some of them there's goth right there hmm. that's kind of cool And as you can see at the bottom, you can add stuff, presets to this. You can rename them or you can delete them. I don't know why you would delete them, but there's that option. I'm all about collecting. See, that sounds good. And this is on a good top preset, you know what I mean? So it's like, that's what I'm saying. Like, you don't have to. 
you have to follow the rules you know what i mean now what i would do depending on the situation i would have two or three of them you know what i mean if you like something that's doing and you like something else as well stack them up and just have like a crazy a crazy deal going so with the presets i think it's good that they have these different things listed i think i look at this more so as to the inspiration behind it they're really saying that yeah you can use this on vocals you can use this on guitars pianos leads i think that's the concept but again that is not it's not limited to that you can use this for anything this is not your normal reverb delay this thing is crazy and of course if the site allows or they might be having different packs or whatever you this is how you would install different presets or maybe you have buddies that have the same plugin and y'all you know designing to your heart's content and you're sharing presets this is how you would export and import your deal here all right this 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 deal is pretty straightforward you know it's not really much to explain here but they there is some some knobs here in front of us we can definitely change the octave shift there's this top knob here there's a secondary knob it's more of a blackish deal behind it you change change the shift and how much of it you know you get real deep the distance you get it far away or closer you can change the painting you know like what the texture is doing in terms of like the stereo parameters you can choose to just give it a mix you know it's cool that this mix knob is in this plugin because some plugins don't have that it's with what i'm finding you can also change how much of the tail end you know or the decay whatever you want to call it the sustain dial it back a little bit more actually i don't know okay there we go I like that change your wow factor wow wow <laughs> change your wash settings a little color let's get some more that mix in there so the texture I'm, I'm thinking that this is different from from this down here you know what i mean so you can really give it there's that tail so it's a texture tail make it long dial back there we go there we go hmm i like that give it a little more this this dry dry and wet deal is the overall that's, that's what's happening here you can give make the signal more hot yeah the out is like the overall deal i can still hear serum in the background but you know the dry signal in there yeah so this deals with the dry signal that's kind of cool that is that's really cool <laughs> that's real cool so here's my dry signal there we go 
this is very unique as i'm playing with i'm like wow this is cool this is cool give more of a glue it feels like this is dealing with the compressor widen it a little bit more stereo okay that's mono obviously change the tone on top of the black knob obviously deals with the shift and the black knob I believe it deals with the shift as well but in texture form if that makes this it's doing something This is this is sound design this is yeah what a nice name to call it cloud max it, it definitely this is not a reverb it's not a delay it's a sound design it's it's adding sprinkles and fluffs and clouds and bruh this thing is this thing is on a whole nother level there's enough knobs to make it do some weird, crazy, unique things, which is what I look for in my production. I'm always looking for something different. So if I bypass this, let me show you. <laughs> so that's, that's the basic... It's got like a little delay in there because that's what Serum is doing, but it's very basic. It's very basic. But if we add this, activate the Cloud Max 2. It's crazy. That's crazy. gauge you know blend the mix of you know what the texture is doing and between that and the dry hmm. that's fire All right, I'll be all day with this. I just wanted to show you guys real quick what this thing is doing. I'm Ella B Culture. Remember, lifestyle is governed by art. Oh, and um, if you dig this, the affiliate link is in the description. 
of this video. Click that link, support me.